Good morning, church. Welcome to this special Sunday when we get doubly, triply, quadruply blessed, if that's a word. If you're a first-time visitor, uh, you'll notice that there is a visitor slip in the seat back pocket in front of you. Please fill that out, and when the collection plate comes by, put that in. We have a special visitor today in the name of one Bruno. Hello, Bruno. Raise your hand. Yay. Okay. He's a first-time visitor that sat down in front. Is that not great or what? <laughs> we'll make a Methodist out of him yet. Next time he goes to church, he'll sit in the back pew. Okay. <laughs> this week, uh, there is the men's breakfast is still meeting. And then after this Wednesday, we're going to go on vacation for a couple weeks just to make that make you all aware of that. Miss Diane, you going to make your announcement? So a couple of things happening this week. We have our annual UMW Ornament Exchange party tomorrow night at 6 in Weston Hall. Bring a wrapped gift of an ornament and um, finger food to share with the group. All ladies of the church are welcome to be a part of this party. It's always a lot of fun. Fun, fun, fun. So please come. We have two services at the end of the week. Our Christmas Eve services are at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. 4 p.m. will be led by the praise band. At 6 p.m., the choir will be singing, and we're going to have a special story from uh, <clears throat> our pastor for the children. So it should be a really nice evening. And then we are having services or service on Christmas Day. So Sunday, please come at 1030. I have the one service, um, and it'll be, it'll be a good one. Now, Diane's way of saying that I will have a special message for the kids at the 6 p.m. Christmas Eve service is her way of signaling. If you come to that one, you don't have to endure a sermon. So, <laughs> so I, I just want to sweeten the pot. Come to the 6 p.m. service if you want to avoid a sermon. Okay, let's go ahead and invite the Lord to be part of this service. Come, O oh Lord. Your people have gathered. We are so happy to be here in your house and happy to be here with our brothers and sisters. Lord, this time of year that seems that people just have more patience with one another, even if it's not true. We, Lord, there is this sense of community and of love and of joy. Thank you, Lord, that it's all because of the birth of your son. And now as we give to you this time, this hour, of celebration and of praise. Come, Lord, be among us. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning. Uh, in those days, a decree went out uh, from Emperor Augusta that all the world should be registered. All went to their own town to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was a descendant of the house uh, and family of David. Today we remember Joseph, a man who came from the lineage of kings. Joseph wanted to end his engagement to Mary because of her unusual pregnancy, but instead he listened to God and took on the responsibilities of fatherhood for Mary's son. On this fourth Sunday of Advent, we light the candle as a symbol of Joseph, who knocked at the door of the inn, even though he had the right to be in the place, in the palace of the king. <clears throat> Please stand as you are able for our opening hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful. We'll be singing verses 1 and 3.
let us now affirm our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. be seated. Would the ushers please come forward? Let us pray. <laughs> Lord, you give us the privilege of giving back to you. You who bless us with so much. Receive from our hands these gifts. May they go from this house to bring about the blessings of the world, a sharing of the provision and abundance in our lives. May we share it with the world through these gifts. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated and will our young disciples please come on down.
Good morning. Who has a little brother or a sister? I, one of them growled. <laughs> yes. Uh, when when it was time for your uh, little brother or sister to come, do you remember how your parents told you? Like, how did they tell you that you had a, a brother or a sister coming? How did they tell you? They were excited. They told you to. They they told you, right? They told you to your face. No. <laughs> How did you find out? An email. An email. Okay. Okay. She did tell you. Okay. Well, that's good. It, well, when my kids were were going to be born, I just called people. Right. I, I called them and said, "I'm going to have a baby." Uh, but nowadays, they do what's called a gender reveal. Do you know what that is? No? Uh, we're going to see it. Look, at your, look up at the screen. We're going to see what a gender reveal party is. Seven, six, five, what they don't know. Four. So parents nowadays, they like to make this big announcement, and if it's a girl, maybe there's something pink, like pink balloons, or blue balloons, or blue confetti, or uh, some of them even have explosions uh, when they have a birth announcement. It's a pretty big deal. Well, uh, nothing can ever compare, though, to Jesus' birth announcement. Uh, there wasn't a gender reveal like this, but it was something way better. The first Noel, uh, I'm going to read it to you. It says, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. So it was late at night. So is it light out or dark? It's dark. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. So it was dark, and then what happened when the angel came? It got light, right? The angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, which is Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Then suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. So they didn't have blue confetti, right, when Jesus got his birth announcement, but the whole heavenly host of angels cracked open the sky and appeared to who? to some shepherds, right? That big, beautiful sky of light and angels singing. So God didn't have to uh, have the confetti out or the little explosion, right? And the cool thing is, is God didn't even announce it to kings or queens. He didn't post it on TikTok or YouTube. He just appeared to some shepherds. Because Jesus came to proclaim good news to the poor. Just to the poor. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus said. So let's bow our heads, and you repeat after me, okay? Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus we, sometimes forget we sometimes forget how important your birth is. How important your birth is. Thank you for being born. For us, for us, because you love us, because you love us. The, first Noel. the first Noel, in your name we pray, in your name we pray. Amen.
Christmas, Noel, the revelation of Christ, the coming of the Messiah, the arrival of a king. This is the dawn of redemption for all people, love that descended from heaven to earth, and a miracle of life exceeding all imagination. The prophetic words of Isaiah hail the news of Christ's impending birth. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. This child, this king, who would change the world for all time, was about to be born. God in flesh, God the Son, born of Mary. And Mary said, My soul praises the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone should return to the town of his origin to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David. He went with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her son. She wrapped him in a cloth and placed him in a manger, 
because there was no room for them in the inn. Be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared, and the angel said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to all.
the shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they were anxious to spread the news about this child, and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds told them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told.
brought to us the gift of love, the only begotten Son of God, Jesus. Let us go and share this news of great joy to all the world. Jesus Christ is born.
hope you all enjoyed that. Can we have another round of applause? And hear now the benediction. <laughs> Lord, it is a joyous time. We sing Noel, we speak Noel, may we live Noel, because you came and lived among us. Thank you for the gifts you've placed into this church, among its people, and amongst the musician, and amongst all of those who minister in your name. We ask your blessings now as we go into this Christmas week that is ahead. May everything we do and everything we say reflect the love of Christ. We ask this, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. Amen. <laughs>